Hi, my name is Dari. I saw you guys at the shopping mall. should have stopped to listen to what he has to say. What else would he want to say other than to woo me? And what is wrong with that? Listen, girl, I just returned to Nigeria after four good years of studying abroad. And it's not been more than five months since I got back. I just want to enjoy the country, have fun, and not to mingle with any man. Look, you know how I love. I go all in. And I'm not ready to do that right now. See, after school, I mean, the next thing that should be on your mind is settling down. Especially now that you have a job already and not enjoying the country. Oh, really? Yeah. Then why haven't you settled down? <laughs> well, I never see correct guy like that one. Maybe when I do. You know what? I'm going inside. You can come inside after you're done recommending the right man for me. That guy, no bad though. You're not serious. Daddy. Hi, Princess. How did your day go? Very well. How was yours? Awesome. Oh. So, Daddy, I already made dinner. So, you just go inside, you have your bath, you change, and then you come downstairs and eat. Hmm. You won't even allow me to enter inside before telling me about it. But you didn't know that you are just a replica of your mom. Oh. Always taking good care of me the way she did. I am so happy, so lucky to have you as a daughter. Oh, and I am so lucky to have you as my dad. <laughs> Come, let's go inside. <laughs> yes, we need to freshen up first. Hmm? 
you are free to get a guy for yourself. But telling me you are not ready now. <laughs> and if you have to get that guy, make it fast. Otherwise, I will do the opposite. Wait, Daddy, like, are you already tired of me? Are you trying to get rid of me? How can you say that like that? When I had earlier told you that it is possible, I would love to have you here forever. But the truth is, that is not right. I have to let you move forward in life. Because the aim of every parent is to be a child. After college. Okay? To get a job. After job. Get married. And then start bearing children. Goodness gracious. You know, you know, I your food is always delicious, you know. Mm -hmm. Very sumptuous and tantalizing. My high man. But eat your food. <laughs> I'll devour all of them. I hope you still have more. <laughs> but what I said. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to I, I don't want to hear, I want to think about it. Okay, okay, Daddy, I've heard. It's only on that promise that I will eat. Okay. I promise you. Oh yeah, just eat for me, please. <coughs> <laughs> I want to do press up. Okay, okay. <laughs> you are so hilarious that you always make me laugh so much. <laughs> Oh no. Fine. Uh, that young lady I saw yesterday, she's at home right? She did. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I come and see her? Hey, my name. Madam. Who is that? I want my way to look for you. Who? What? Hi. Who again? I, I just came to see listen, her. Listen, listen, listen. I am not interested in what you have to say. And you have to stop stalking me. You need to leave this place right now. You're lucky my dad is not around. Open the gate. Tell you that this guy stopped by my house again. Seriously, girl. He really likes you, yeah? I mean, after all the stern warning you gave him at your age trip. My dear. Hmm. But if you ask me, I mean, that guy is a nice person. And it makes sense. I wish I'm the one he's chasing. Oh, please. Look, if I was to rate him amongst the other guys who are hitting on me, he would be amongst the least. <laughs> Then say yes to one, please. You know, I've told you that I'm not in the mood of getting into any relationship right now. I just want to take my time. Okay. It's your life, girl. Okay? <laughs> anyway. Bye.
did it right. You? What are you doing here at this time of the night? My car broke down. Please, I just need a ride home. My dad would be very worried. Sure, but the last time you said I should stay away from you, I mean, I, I could use... I could look, use... look, I'm, I'm so sorry about that, okay? I was just being ignorant. I'm, just I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Come on, let me take you home. Thank you so much. Let me just get my, my stuff, my bag, okay? Okay, sure. Let me help. All right. Um... All right. Make sure... I'll just thank you just in case cars are coming. Go. All right. Okay. Don't carry your bag, please. No, it's okay. I it's can fine. help you in your bag. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's Jumoke. She's not back here, too. And this is quite unlike her. I know. Hopefully, she will come back soon. Nothing to bother about. It's okay. Bye. Princess, you kept me worried. Been calling your line. Not available. What happened? I'm so sorry. Low battery and then I had a breakdown in my car and helped me and offered to bring me home. Hey, young man. Thank you very much. You've done noble. It's okay, sir. I was happy to help. I mean, she was in distress and she needed help. And... It's okay. Um... Looking at the time now, it's pretty late. I would have um, offered you a drink. It's, it's okay, sir. I mean, I could always take a rain check. I could come back another time, you know, probably weekend, you know, have a drink. See you. It's okay. Weekend, then. Weekend? Okay. I, w I will be here, sir. Thank All you. right, bye. Yeah. No problem. Thank you once again. All right. Take care. Right. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Princess, don't worry. Mechanic will go and um, fix your car tomorrow and bring it back. Daddy, I'm so tired. It's okay. Go and freshen up. Okay. All right. I prepared something for you. Oh, my goodness, Daddy, you are my <laughs> savior. You don't trust me. My now. savior. Mm, I'm All right, Daddy. Cuckoo. I'm a good cuckoo. Are you telling me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later, Daddy. Babes, I was so embarrassed today. Like, you know someone you've done all this shakara for, you've told him to stay away from you, and then all of a sudden the tides turn, and then you need his help. Listen, I had no other choice than to accept because it was already late. How did he know you were outside? Well, pure coincidence, I guess. That's quite striking. Maybe the Lord is trying to pass a message to us. Which message, Jumoke? Girl, please, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. So tell me, how was your day?
you're welcome. Listen, I really appreciate it. If you could help me convince your friend, I really, really like her. Honestly, I have tried to do that. But she, she says she's not ready. Why? You see, she says she's not ready for commitment. She's very much connected to her father and her father's love means so much to her that she thinks that no man can replicate that love. But perhaps, you know, if you know her likes and dislikes, I think you can surpass that love. Okay. And I think I can help you. Just give you small hints. <laughs> That's cool, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Um, number one, uh -huh. just like her father, you need to you know, be super duper caring. Yes, that's okay. very important. You know, she needs to be the first person you call in the morning. You pray with her and let her be the last person you call at night too. Uh, I can do that. Yes. <laughs> One more thing. Okay. Please do not suffocate her with those love talks yet. Just creep into her, her heart, you know, and before you know it, she'll be begging for your love. Yes. Okay. Also, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to make a list of our likes, her dislikes, you know, the kind of things she likes to wear, her favorite food. All those things, I'm going to put it to a text. I'm going to send it to you as a text message. Okay. I'm sure that will help I you. I really appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you so much. I have to run along now. Okay. Good to All right, see you. Care. Bye. Okay. did <sighs> thank you for waking me up i have to attend an early seminar at work this morning um let's pray then you can go and brush what yes in christ's name amen Good time? Yes, I did. I really enjoyed myself, so thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Terry, I just want to thank you so much. You've been taking me to all these fun places, you know, going to sightseeing spots at different resorts, and then you took me to the golf club. Look backstory okay okay so growing up my father used to take me to the golf club every time like you know after i lost my mom so it became a bonding thing for the both of us so i just liked going there just being at the golf club was just very soothing to me and then you know he's aging now and um i don't like bothering him to go all the way out there to do all of that so it really meant a lot to me when you took me out there well i'm glad i did now that i've heard your backstory <laughs> <laughs> and i also really appreciate how you're very familiar with my likes and dislikes that's really quite thoughtful of you Dari, and i really appreciate that so thank you well i'm just connecting with my own you know <laughs> so. So yeah, thank you. Should we go now? Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that guy is really good though. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, if I were you, I would grab him before another girl does. I know. 
Oh girl, I don't think I'm ready. Why? I'm not. Wait a minute, is it just me? Or is it just so very unusually hot today? Goodness, I'm craving for my favorite ice cream. Then let's go and get it. Mm -mm. Look, I've had a very busy week at the office. I just want to stay at home and rest. By the way, how have you been? Oh, I've, I'm fine. How's work and all? Fine, thank you. Awesome. As you can see. Really? Mm hmm This is such a pretty dress. Thank it's you. Really nice. Where <laughs> did you get you. it from? It's really beautiful. Thank you so much. Ah, so great to have you by. Hey. Hello, ladies. Hey, Dari. How are you? Great. Hi. How are you guys? Doing good. How are you? I am good. Hi. Hi. Um, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to just stop by and say hi. And I didn't want to come empty handed. Oh. So I got you some ice cream and chicken drumsticks. You are joking. Ah, I don't know if you like them. I mean, it's... I love ice cream. She it's... loves oh, it. You do? Thank you so oh much, Darryl. Come here. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Thank you, thank you so much. Ah! You're excited about this? I mean, it's nothing. Oh, thank you so much. You uh, let me leave you guys. I have to okay. run along now. Okay, um, I'll let me drop her off. I'm... Oh, okay. Let me see you guys off then. Okay. Thank All, you. Right. All right. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna call this girl. I'm gonna call this girl. Ju, Ju, listen, listen, listen. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Congratulations, baby. I am so happy for you, Bestie. Girl, listen. This guy, he is so gentle. He is really kind. He is so loving. He understands me so much. Girl, he knows my likes and my dislikes. Like, he says and does the right thing. I mean, he is just so perfect. There can't be any better man. I think so, too. You know, I cannot wait to be your chief bridesmaid. You know mm. how it goes now. Well, that is if he proposes. Girl, I know he will propose. You just don't worry. He will, okay? <sighs> I'm so excited. Anyway, girl, I will see you tomorrow, okay? So you take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. The reception 
you get in this house does not mean I have given my consent. Though I don't have a hand in the choice of a husband for my daughter, she has that absolute right. So all I'm saying is that we have to tread carefully. Okay? Good. Um, I understand, sir. Um, but I assure you that her happiness and her safety will be in good hands. I assure you, sir. I'll make her happy. Because she is all that I've got. Her way being, however, is my concern. I understand, sir. And I cannot trade it for anything. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Hmm. My princess, since you have chosen him to be the man you want to live with, I want you to really think very thoroughly about it. Hmm? But for purposes of clarity, I still want to ask you, are you sure he is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with? I've never been so sure, Daddy. It's okay. If you say so, then go for it. You have my support. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. But you have to pray. You know, pray and ask for divine direction on how to treat him to know whom he is very, very well. To know his likes and his dislikes. To know how to handle situations when they come up. Okay? And um, I will advise you, do not copy from anybody. Do your thing your own way. Because in marriage, what works for Mr. A might not work for Mr. B. Hmm? Yes, Daddy. By the time you've taken time to learn him, you will be able to know how to handle him properly. Hmm? That's my girl. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank yeah. you. You are the best. Um, best. Thank you so much. I want the best for you, okay? Thank you. Mm. Uh, Such a lovely movie. And she's cute. Cute. Are you going to offer me something to drink, by the way? Uh, uh, you're the lady of the house now. I don't have to get you something to drink. You're my wife, baby. Which wife? Fiance, you've not paid my bride price. You got a point there, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll pay tomorrow. No way. That's too soon. <laughs> okay, next month. No way. Ah, in three months time, Uncle. Mm -mm. Ah, come on now. I can't wait for more than three months. I, want you to, I can't wait for you to be my wife. Please, put go now. Be go now. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> what? What is Buko? Is that the same Ibu now? No. Oh. It's not Buko, it's Biko. Ah, that's what I said. That what I, I what said Biko new. You said Buko. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, I don't get you some drink. Okay. And you let me go. Yes. Ha. Princess. Okay. I'm the king before. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what do you want to drink? You know anything hard? Liquor. No. Got the money. All right. Daddy, what is the point of deferring the wedding when we can have it even today? We are ready, financially and otherwise. Have you taken your time to study 
that young man very well. Yes, Daddy, I have. I know him and he knows me too. But it just feels as though we've known each other all our lives. We finish each other's sentences. I know his likes and dislikes. He knows mine too. Daddy, I know him too well. Your mouth is just running. Ta -ta 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 -ta. See, my daughter. Marriage is not a child's play. Marriage is not something you can just jump into, jump out. You need to be careful. You know, you need, you need to be intentional so that you don't make mistakes. I really don't like this um, quick fix of a date. Why the hurry, if I may ask? Daddy, I want him and he wants me to. He just can't wait. Isn't that enough? It's okay. You are an adult. Old enough to make your own decisions. But I still think you need to debt for at least one year so that you will study each other the more, know how to handle issues when they come up, so that there won't be any need for regret for you know tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. Daddy, what will be will be. It doesn't matter how long a couple has dated. So all that matters is that I am a good person and he's a good person too. And most importantly, we love each other. That's still not enough. Good people can make mistakes. Good people sometimes do bad. Daddy, please. Please. You've made up your mind on this? Yes, Daddy. Completely? Yes. It's okay. I give my story. <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's my daddy. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't have to jump on in a hurry. Eh? Mm -hmm. I still have to make an inquiry about them. Hmm? In our tradition here, it is called Ijuese. Use that opportunity to dig deep into their past, their lineage, even to the extent of finding out their great, great, great grandfather. Daddy, listen, you don't have to worry about anything. I am sure that he has a very clean slate. You sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I've seen the design for the brother train. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let me see. Wait, this is perfect. I this one. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. I like it. Okay, I'll order for it then. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Just give me the amount information and I'll work on it. This one is on me, okay? Come on, Drew, you've done enough already. <laughs> no, nothing is ever too big for my best friend. Oh, come here. Thank <laughs> you so much. You're the best. Thank you. You know I like you, eh? Girl, you love me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Daddy, are you okay? Daddy. Sit down. You're welcome. Thank you, Daddy. What 
What's wrong? Are you okay? The person I sent out for the USA. informed me that Dare's father abused the mother a lot and everybody in the village knew about it. Oh my God. That is quite sad. He, he hasn't told me anything about this. You see, you hardly know this man. Daddy, I do. I know him very well. Listen, all of these things are not necessary. His dad abused his mom. Dari did not abuse anybody. We can't judge someone by the sins of their parents. Hmm. I am not judging him. Dari has a wrong role model. He might not be a good husband because he didn't learn it from his father. But if you insist that you must marry him, then you have to help him. You have to work on him so that he will not be tempted at abusing you too. Daddy, I will. But guess what? There will be no need for that because Dari is a good guy. Well, but you know what an elder sees sitting down, a child climbing on top of the hill will not see it. Be it as it may, you still have a home here if that place becomes too hot for you. Daddy, I know that I have a home here, okay? But there will be no need for a comeback. As we all know, no one from our family has ever gotten married and later on had a divorce. I feel same for you. I don't want to have you back after you're married. Be a good wife. Stay in your husband's home. And do all stuff. Hmm? I wish you well. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. Sleep. Dari, Dari, wake up. Oh, I said, pray alone now. I'm tired. Uh. So now you're married. No more clubbing, partying, hanging out at night and... Ah, uh, what's wrong with you? Am I married to a witch? <laughs> I can go out now. You say I've got to be back early. Ah. Mm -hmm. So what are we not talking about? Yeah. Let's hang out then. Let's hang out. Uh, yeah? yeah? Let's hang out. You know, it's been a while we hung out. Together. Yeah, but on one condition, though. What's that? I believe in you. 
then I have a filled pocket. Ah! I cash in my wallet. <laughs> Let's roll, bro. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Somebody's driving like a maniac. Are you okay? I'm good. Um, I already made dinner. It's okay. served, so you could just go upstairs. You freshen up, so you can come back downstairs, and then you eat, and then you go upstairs, and you know, sleep off early, hey, so you hey, can go hey, to work calm early. Down. I'm not a child, okay? I'm treating you like a child. Uh, sorry, I was just trying to be a carrier. Yeah, well, you can understand. Be controlling, you know, please. Let me go upstairs and clean up. I'll be down in a minute. So, Mrs. Mm -hmm. how is my child life? Well, it's fine. Just fine? Girl, it's not bad. You know what they say now, no marriage is perfect. Yes, but not yours. <laughs> you know, see, don't join those people that get married and finally become uh, motivational speakers. <laughs> yeah, you remember that quote that people who get married rightly live happily ever after, while those who get married wrongly become motivational speakers. You know, right? Girl, I refuse to be among the motivational speakers. <laughs> ah. Amen. I refuse that for you too. So, what about your crush? Huh. Mm -hmm. That guy. I really don't know what's wrong with him. He's darling. You should give him the green light now. You think I haven't done that? <laughs> I have given him green light over and over and over again. My Jeromi, Jomi, Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Honestly, you see, guys that are seriously ready to get married, guys that are ready to settle down, yeah? Okay. They're scarce these days. I know, it's crazy. God. It's 2 a.m. Seems like it keeps increasing the time with each passing day. How do I let him know he should not be doing this without sounding controlling or something? Oh, goodness. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Listen, yep. I'm tired. You can't need to rest. Alright? Be somewhere thinking that the wife is walking without knowing that this woman is here sleeping with the boss. Smash! I'm <laughs> telling you. You know, now I understand why our fathers <laughs> didn't allow our mothers to work. You know, because of things like this. 
women when you just give them just give, give them a small inch and they want to they want to take your whole your whole mile. What, what do you mean man? What about your wife? Doesn't she walk? Ah, my brother, after what I saw, there's no way she's walking again. Her days working is over. <laughs> uh, what if you tell her to stop work and she refuses to stop work and threatens to leave the marriage? Hmm? Uh, what will you do? My friend, she won't. She's more dedicated to this marriage than I am. I mean, it's just a job now. What's the she will leave her. That's how the lady will leave <laughs> What if she does? Well, my brother, she does. She doesn't decide to leave the job. I will just respect myself and just stop pushing because at the end of the day, I don't want to lose her. But I know she would because I mean she's dedicated to this marriage, yo. Mm. Dedicated to this marriage, and I know, you know, that she won't give me too much stress. But like I said, <laughs> me and my man, and when I asked her to jump, she asked me how high. She's perfect like that. Man, lucky bastard, you are. <laughs> Women like that doesn't exist anymore. Um, You're just so lucky to have one. Seriously. Mm. Mm. Just so lucky to have one. But meanwhile, you know, it's even, looking at it from the other angle, you find out that it's not even that nice for you to just not be checked, you know? You want to do anything you want to do without nobody asking questions. You know, you can end up destroying your whole life. Hang on, so you rather have somebody who is more controlling than anything else? No, 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 that's not what I mean, you know? Uh, if I'm to be married today, I, I will be looking at a, a submissive woman, yes, uh, but on the other hand, I will still want a woman that knows what she wants. You can never tell until you marry them. Take for instance now my wife. Mm. When I married her, she was a no-nonsense woman, but now, <laughs> anything goes. She does exactly as I say. Mm. Yeah, true. And women are unpredictable. Nah, honestly, honestly. You can't predict them. Why am I dropping you off this man? You're going, you're going too far now. Uh, you take this, you take this way. Uh. All right now, no voila, get out of my car. Okay. My way out. Wake up. I'm heading out, okay? Where are you going to? Work? No, you're not. Are you joking? Do I look like a comedian to you? I've decided that I don't want my wife working anymore, okay? So you can either choose that or your marriage. It's up to you. No, Dari, you cannot be serious. You walk out that door and this marriage is over. Dari, you know that I love working and I'm passionate about my job. So are you choosing your job over me, over this marriage? No. Then you better put your back down and sit your behind at home. Dari, please don't do this to me. What has come over you? Look, my word is final, okay? I don't want you working anymore. Eh? I want you at home. Ah, do you want to force me? Ah! What I want is a woman that will take care of my unborn children. I will place you on a salary. If you want anything, you come to me. I don't want a working class woman who will end up sleeping with her boss. Derek, you know that I can never do that. Trust no one, they say. Look, just sit at home. I don't want you to go anywhere. Do I know what you're doing out there? Make me breakfast. I'm hungry. Bread and tea. Egg and then some sausage as well. There is... Hmm. Understand either. I don't know why you are not putting up any resistance. Should not allow him control you like that. Daddy, please, please. I want you to help me talk to him yourself. 
Look, I can't do much or even challenge him. Mom was a submissive wife and she honored you till she died. I learned from her. Your mom was a submissive woman. She was that because I am also a good husband. I have her interest at heart. Not your husband that is so selfish. Daddy, I don't want my marriage to fail. I will win Dari over with love. Please, just, just talk to him, but please be polite. It's okay. You are an adult. You are capable of making decisions for yourself. So, it's your marriage. Whatever thing you say, we do. Trust me, Daddy. I know the man I married, and he will come around. Mm. I am a man. And I can tell you that this is your approach hardly works. Hardly meaning that there is a possibility that it will not work. I'll just have to use this as a trial. It's okay. I'll try. I'll talk to him. Hmm? Hey, what's up? You should be at work. My dear, Jerry woke up today and just said, no work for me. You're joking, right? I'm very serious. Listen, I need you to help me and talk to him, please. What is wrong with him? I don't know. He just keeps changing. He comes home whenever he wants. Like... I just, I can't continue to cover for him anymore. Wow. Okay, fine. I'll talk to him. I'll go to his office before he closes for work. Thank you so much, okay? It's okay. Thank you. Okay, I will. Thank you. But I need you to be strong. The staff I know is a strong woman. I'm strong, but I can't continue to be strong at the detriment of my marriage. Please, just, just help me and talk to him, okay? And please, when you do, just be polite about it, please, okay? I will, no problem, it's fine. Thank you. It's okay. Honestly, Dari, I think you should let her work. You see, growing up, she has always wanted to work. And being her husband doesn't give you the right to destroy her dream. Destroy her dream? All right, um, you okay? I don't mean to be rude, huh? but please, this is a husband and wife issue. So please, eh? just stay out of this one. But okay. she's my friend and I remember I helped you to get her to be... Alright, just stop that right there. I won't have you disrespect me. Terry, what has come over you? No, what has come over you? Huh? How dare you think you can tell me how... I, I can impact on my wife's life? Terry, I didn't say that. I only said being a husband doesn't give you the right to stop her from being a successful career woman. Fine. I have heard you, okay? But this is a marriage, this, this, is, this is a thing for married people. Get married first before you can advise me. But on such a time, please, mind your own business. How dare you talk to me in that manner? And who the hell are you? Margaret Thatcher? That I can't talk to you? Maybe that's the reason why nobody wants to marry you. <gasps> Enough of this, Harry! Enough! You know what? I do not blame you. I blame myself for manipulating you, winning her over. You have no idea, do you? I know how many guys that, she, that were chasing her and she chose you over them. They were way, way better than you. I know how you chased her. But now you have made her start chasing you. I hope you're happy now. Rubbish. No, come and stand here and talk to me. Nonsense, your friend, your friend kill you dead. Go well, and get your own husband first. Before you come and advise me. Rubbish. Idiot. 
Please, Dari. All I'm asking is for you to allow her to go back to her work. Are you done? Yes. All I have to say to you is that no comment. What do you mean by no comment? Can I ask you a question, sir? Go ahead. When you got married to your wife, I mean, did anyone tell you how to run your marriage? No. Then why are you interfering in my marriage? Because she's my daughter. And I paid her bride price. Bride price, you say? How much did you pay? that will make me lose right on my daughter's welfare. That pantry amount you paid, is it enough to all the investments I made on her? Eh? We're done here. But Come back here. Come back here. Where is she? Why is that irresponsible woman that goes around reporting her marriage and her husband? I need you on your back. Fire you here. Dara, you hit me! And I will hit you again and again. How dare you go and report me to your father and that you useless, marriageless, stupid. Dara, don't you ever hit me again. Do you hear me? And if I hit you again, what are you going to do? Ah! If I. Look, babes. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about yesterday. I didn't mean to. I was a bit drunk and, you know, spaced out. Please forgive me, okay? Use that penicillin I bought for you um, to help ease down the swellings, okay? Make sure you use it. Dari, I want to walk. Please let me work. As much as this marriage is to me, work is important for me too. So you're telling me now you'd rather choose work over this marriage, right? No, Dari. I am not choosing. But you have to choose. Which one is it? Are you going to choose this marriage or are you going to choose going to work? I didn't think so. Look, I'll see you later. Use what I bought you, okay? Have a good day.
this is not what I hoped for. Is this how being married should be? How did I get into this mess? Steph, how? God. I don't want this type of marriage. That idiot beat you. He then lays his leprosy streaking hand on you. Come on, you that's my husband we're talking about. So what? Someone that doesn't have the least regard for you. He does. Okay, he loves me. And he apologized for it. Steph, I am disappointed in you. You no longer the Steph I used to know. The no nonsense taking step that he took that guy, everything in his power to war. You are the one that is supposed to be chased. But now you're chasing him. Come on, girl, this is wrong. You're the woman here. And the woman should always put herself in a position where the man always chases her. Please, tell. do not lose your charm. Do not lose it. If you continue like this, it will become worse. Please, yes, sir, Drew. The marriage is tough. And I think I'm beginning to experience the reality of it. This is not the reality of marriage. This is the reality of what you allow in your marriage. My dear, experience they say is the best teacher. And soon you'll get married and until then, I think that's when you begin to understand things. Well, I do not want to understand nonsense. I refuse to understand nonsense. It's okay. All right, it's fine. I've heard you. It's okay. Better. You better do something about it. Else I will do something about it. I will confront him and deal with him myself. Yes! There'll be no need for that. So you don't need to do that, please. Then talk to him. Come on. Look at you. <sighs> Steph, this is, this is not good. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! See, 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 young man. Whenever you have made up your mind to be a man, you know where to get me. I don't want to see you anywhere close to me. Let us go. Let's go. So let me. And you are still maltreating her the way you are doing. It wasn't intentional. You are not going. Come. Baby, my daughter, come again. Baby, baby. Don't leave me, sir. Don't leave me. I love you. Baby, don't leave me, please. Don't leave me, I love you. Baby, please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. No. Don't leave. Terry, wait. Terry, wait. Terry, wait. Terry, wait. Terry, wait. Are you okay? Don't leave me. Please. Don't leave me, please. I love you. Don't leave me. I'll never leave you. I promise. Okay? I'm fine. Don't leave me. My second name is Joseph now. So what is uh, what was the dream? Well, I dreamt that my wife's father and her best friend are planning, planning to take her away from me. Hey! Dangerous. That's dangerous. How? In fact, that is what it is. That's the plan. They are trying to convince your wife to leave you. Yes. And you have to do something fast. You have to stop them all. You have to. You want to destroy our marriage. No, they don't. But I don't want you seeing them again. You care, my dad. Darry, my dad. You know how close my dad and I are? Like, no one can come between us. So you are choosing your father over your husband. 
Huh? Gary, listen, I do not say that. Look, you and I are one. But my father is everything to me. He has been there for me ever since my mother died. He's been the perfect father and mother in my life. Look, this man can lay his life down for me. I cannot live without my father, Dari. I don't care, okay? I don't want to see him in this house again. And that your useless friend as well. So is it that them or this marriage? Look, I gotta go to work. Um, well then, before you leave, I'll need some money. Do I look like an ATM machine to you? Dari, what is this? Look, I don't have any money on me, okay? I've been using my money to buy groceries and, and taking care of some bills that I didn't want to bother you. Well, I don't have any money. Well, Dari, you told me to stop working. And you said you were going to pay me or give me some sort of allowance, but you've not been doing that. I need money for my upkeep. I need money to, to, to make my hair. Do your hair for who? Eh? To chase other men? Dari, you know that I am not that kind of woman. Well, I like the way your hair is, okay? I like it the way it is. Don't go put any wig there to make you look like a poor girl. I gotta go to work. Thank you so much for calling. I I really appreciate it. Thank you. You don't call me anymore. I've been the one doing the calling. Honestly, Steph, you have changed. I've heard of friends get married and change, but I never really thought you would change. What's going on? Marriage happened to me, sis. I don't even have credit on my phone. And then... <sighs> Dari, on the other hand, is not keeping... ...to his word about giving me money for upkeep. I'm just... Oh, God. Girl, please. Please, just send me your account number, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jumoke. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> guilty right now. I am the brain behind all this unpleasant union. I did it. I started it all. God, please, I really need to find a way to sort out this mess. Steph, I am so sorry. Lord. Oh, hi, Steph. I'm outside your gates. Please open up. Um, Drew, listen. Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. Um, I forgot to tell you that Dari said that he no longer wants to see you or my dad in the house again. And you agree? My dear, I'm in a very confused state right now. The main issue right now is there are CCTV cameras everywhere, and I, and I don't want him to feel disobeyed. Disobeyed? Let me ask you. Is that guy your husband or your slave master? Because I am confused. Listen, sis, look. I'm, I'm just trying to save my marriage, okay? Two wrongs don't make a right. Lie, Steph. Lie. At times, two wrongs can make a right. You see, tolerating some things from people can make them abuse you more instead of having them stop. I don't want to fail in my marriage, okay? My mother was a good wife to my dad before she died. 
That was because your father was a good husband to her. Can't you see? Listen, Dari is a very good guy. The problem is he's just being influenced by his upbringing. His dad did not lay the proper foundations for him. Look, I'll try to correct things around here, but I'll have to do that with love. Steph, I hope you succeed before he kills you. I'm leaving. Look, Chumoke, I'm so sorry. Okay, I am I am really, really sorry for not letting you in. Just know that it it hurts me more than it does you. I am so sorry. Please just try and understand. I'll, I'll try to fix things in no time, okay? It's fine, Steph. It's okay. Listen, girl. I do not hold it against you, okay? I hold it against Dari. He should know that this wouldn't go on forever. Because I would not fold my hands and watch him do this to you. I was hoping I could come around and discuss a way out with you, but as it stands now, I am sure you will not agree. There's no need for that then. Bye. Oh, God. Princess, I don't like your tone. Oh, you can't say that. You know I know you. You are my daughter. Tell me. Daddy, Daddy, I'm so sorry about that. The thing is, I've not had credit on my phone for some time now, and um, Chumake just sent me some money, so... You had to be the first person I call. Oh, uh, Daddy, the thing is, I used some of my money on some investments, and then I used the other part on some bills around the house. So right now, I don't have any money on me, and Dari has stopped me from working, so. Daddy? Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Daddy, Daddy would not agree. But Daddy, you told me that I should study my man and see what works on him. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to study him. Oh, okay, Daddy, you know what? I'll, I'll be fine, okay? I'll be fine. Um, thank you again for the money. Thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. I love you too, Daddy. Thank you. Is that a new wig? Yes, it is. I thought you said you had no money for... Wait, hang on. So you now go around chasing men whenever I'm at work? Dari, no. Jumoke gave me some money and my ah! dad gave me some money too. Juma who? Oh! So now you're begging for... You want to disgrace me, Abby? Dari, that is not true. Oh, what? so now I'm a liar. What are you, what are you saying? Ah! Now, why did you slap me? Did I call you a liar? All I said what you said is not true, and you dare slap me. And if I slap you, what will you do? Dari, I will not take this thing from you. Not I will not take this thing from you, Dari. I don't know why you slap. Why are you hitting me? Why am I hitting you? Why are you hitting me? Why am I hitting you? Please stop me, sir. Why am I hitting you? How dare you treat? 
my daughter like that eh? while I'm still alive. Open this door! Steph, open the door! Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Go in there now. Pack your things. We are leaving this house. Now! You are going with me. Daddy, she doesn't even need to pack anything. Yes. Go in and let's go. Go and bring your things. Daddy, please, you know, I can't, I can't leave my marriage. Daddy, please, you, if you understand, I, I need to stay home and, 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 and save my marriage. Daddy, please, you okay, please help me and talk to daddy now. Steph, please. please, stop this. Please, stop it. Are you enjoying this? You call this marriage? Steph, stop it. Stop it, devil. What's going on here? What's going on here? I thought I told you not to let these people into my compound again. We are saying the one you did before and you're doing this in my presence. He came to my house crawling and begging for my daughter's hand in marriage. And now you are treating her like nobody. While I am alive, it's unacceptable. Daddy, Let go of my daddy, daddy, please, eh? please. I cannot allow this. Let go of my daddy, 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 I'm so sorry. Daddy, it's okay. It's sorry, sorry, sorry. What do you mean? Hey, 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 hey. I'm so sorry. Listen. Listen to me. You're a very stupid man. If not for Steph here, we will deal with you yeah, mercilessly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Steph, you get into the house. My husband, I, I am married now, Daddy. Please, just try and understand. I'll, I'll make things work, Daddy. Please, I'm so sorry. Daddy, okay, I'm so sorry, Daddy. I'm Stephanie. sorry. Stephanie. Please, just get up. Please. Stephanie. Okay, I'm sorry. Get into the house right now. Daddy, I'm Stephanie, let's go. I'm sorry. Stephanie, you let yourself out of this place. Hello, Dad. Hello. Um, I just called to let you know that you're going to be a granddad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will. I'll talk to you later. I'll call you back. All right, Dad. Okay, thank you. Hello, Steph. Hello, God, Mom. You're pregnant? Yes, you okay, I am. My God, child? Yeah, I went to the hospital. We did a test and then they ran a scan and they discovered that I'm three months gone. But you know, all this while I've been so unaware because I was, I've been very distracted. Honestly, I don't know what to say. It's my baby. No matter the circumstance, I guess the congrats would do. Sorry, my bad. Congratulations, Steph. I wish I can come over. Everything is going to be fine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you later. Okay. Okay. 
Bye. Bye. Okay, it's 3am. Please do not worry yourself about that man. Moreover, he comes back whenever he wants. So this can be his usual practice. Look, I don't know. I just feel like something is wrong. I can feel it. Listen, I don't want to lose the father of my unborn baby. Oh, please, Steph. Is it not even better for a child to be raised without a father than to be raised by an abusing father? Look, listen sis, um, let me, let me call my dad, okay? I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. It's been four days now, and he's not yet back home. Promise me that you will help me find him, please. Just promise me. I promise I will help you find him. If only you will stop this excessive cry so that it doesn't affect the baby. Huh? You really need to calm down, please. What will I tell the baby? That is right, Steph. You really need to consider our baby. Yes. What will I, what will I tell my child if something happens to the father? What, what will I say? Hello, hello TPO. Yes. No. What did you say? God, is he alive? No. Talk to us now. Talk to us. They've not found him. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Like I said I won't help. Okay. <laughs> So you see how it feels to be subdued and beaten like an animal, huh? Yes. I, 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 no, you can't. You can't feel the exact pains your wife felt. You're strangers, and you're being beaten by strangers that you do not know expect anything from. Unlike your wife. She was beaten by a man she loves. A man she could take a bullet for. Harmed and bruised. From the same man she could do anything for. 
I feel the pain, I feel the pain, I promise. Is it? Have mercy, please. Have mercy. Yes. yes. Don't! 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 I'm sorry. Did you have mercy on your wife? Huh? We brought you here to kill you. I'm sorry. Shh. I set your wife free. Because she will never agree to leave you. If she doesn't listen to her, her dad, then who are we? We're just distant relatives. People you've never met. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. lost her. Talk is chief. And we can't trust you. We will beat you. See your last breath. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Has she eaten anything? No. She has refused to eat. Princess, you have to eat something for the sake of my grandchild. Mm -hmm. I brought in something, some of your favorites, including ice cream. I can't. I can't eat when my husband is nowhere to be found. I can't. <sighs> Steph, you cannot starve yourself because of that irresponsible man. You can't. Please, you have to take something. Daddy, please don't worry, sir. I'll feed her. Please let me have it. My princess, you have to take it easy on yourself, okay? Hmm? Yes, well. Hey, shut, shut, shut up there, my friend. Shut up there. When your wife was begging you, did you listen to her? Hey, I say, please, please, please. You made the father watch why you maltreat his daughter. You will soon be a father to a baby girl very soon. Now tell me, how will you feel if your son-in-law or someone else maltreat your own daughter right in your presence? Answer me, how will you feel? I'll be bad, I'll be bad. You feel bad? Eh? Did you say bad? No, 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 I brought food for you. Huh? And I want you to enjoy this food with your whole heart. If I come back here and I find out that you didn't eat this food, I'll, I'll blow off your bread. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Eat it, right? <laughs> and again, don't try to do anything stupid. Okay. Don't even dare. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Oh. Don't even dare to do anything stupid. Okay. If you try it. Enjoy your food, yeah? Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you.
Okay. Thank God you're awake. Your food is ready and I need you to eat before I leave for work. I'll eat later. No, Steph. I need to make sure you eat the food. I had a dream. Okay. What was it about? I dreamed that something terrible happened to Dari. That they tried to kill him, but I don't know if they succeeded. Steph, please. Do not let that bother you. You cannot get your BP up just because of a man like Dari. You, he is my husband. The father of my unborn child. Okay, sorry. Mother of your unborn child and wife to Dari. Please, could you come and eat? Hmm? Thank you. Let's pray. Let's pray. Come. Tari. Yeah. Listen, first, first and foremost, I want to say I am sorry. I am sorry for everything I put you through. And I will spend the rest of my life trying to right my wrongs with you. Those kidnappers, thank God for them because they did a number on me. They're going to have a daughter. And I know I'm going to love that child with everything. And I will not let any man maltreat her. Not the way I maltreated you. I'm sorry. I want a child to grow up in love. The way you did. Baby, this 
said, I want you to go back to work. Okay? You can go back to work. Tomorrow, whenever. I want to be your partner. I'm not your terror. Terry, I am I am so sorry, babe. I know. Although I shouldn't have done that. Okay. I love you so much. And I love our baby too. It's just I just I just had to do something. Do what? Plan the abduction. Remember, don't harm him. Do not even beat him. Just keep him there and threaten him. And also note that he's my husband and I love him. Trust me, he's safe in our hands. All right, I'll take my leave now. Okay. I hate to do this, Dari, but I have to. I can't watch you destroy the beautiful love and family that we share. I've tried to teach you with love, but you wouldn't listen. Now, as a mother, I'm desperate for a good home for my child. You have to be strong, Steph. You have never been a weak woman. Be strong. For Dari, for our little princess, for Daddy, for Drew, my friend and sister. I can't keep them worried all the time. I can't. did this for us, Dari, please. This, I, I did not, I did not do this to harm you, Dari. Okay, please. I did, I did not know that they were going to beat you up. And when I asked them, they said they had to do it. And I got so angry with them, Dari, please, I'm sorry. Nari, I'm sorry. Nari, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nari, please. I'm sorry. Your father and him okay? Were they a part of this? No. Oh. 
I could have sworn that your father was behind my abduction. I should be angry with you. I should feel betrayed. And I was the one who betrayed you. By molesting you and getting you to trust and marry me. Listen. I forgive you. I forgive the abductors. I forgive myself and I forgive my father for abusing my mother. Let's start it over again, me and you. Our family's safe. 